so if you are running a restaurant or in hospitality business and you like to get an online food ordering system without any commission and for free i would suggest to download food chow so how can you do that just simply go to apple or play store search food chow app look for food chow restaurant manager and install the app so once you have installed the app open the app you will see this simple information screen swipe right and then you will come up with a sign up and sign in screen if you are a new user simply click on sign up and if you are already an existing user click on sign in so after clicking on sign up you will this screen which will ask you to enter your full name enter your email address and the restaurant which you are operating or the business you are operating find a unique sub domain for your restaurant whenever you sign up you get a completely free sub domain a dedicated website which you can promote for your own business after entering that enter your mobile number or your whatsapp number enter any promo code if you have the app will send you an otp one time password to verify your mobile enter that great you will get a verified account on food chow click on continue and set up your account password so you can come back and access it again great your store is ready to set up you need to add your first product by clicking on add new product when you do that enter the item name price and whether the item is veg or non veg now because it's your first time you are adding the item you need to add the categories which the item belongs to enter the name of the category you can enter like uh, sub sandwich if you have an if you have an image for the category you can upload that as well or you can just keep it it's not a compulsory thing but if you add the category images your menu will look lot better click on add category as you see it's been added successfully you can add multiple categories for your store now you can also add image to your item you can write any description you have as you see your item had been added successfully so if you have multiple items make sure you click on add another item and add all your items and categories straight away if you are already completed you can move forward by clicking on next once you do that you will be taken to this screen where it where it will ask you whether your store accepts take away or pick up orders that means somebody comes and picks up the orders from your store are you providing delivery to your customers locally or you are also allowing your customers to place in store or dine in orders when they are dining into your store so you can simply click on the toggle and activate and deactivate these settings by default all of them are activated i will just keep the setting as it is and click on next so the step 2 has been done and the last step which is not a compulsory step You, if you have an, if you don't want to run any offers or coupon you can skip i'm not going to do that but i will I'll advise you to launch your own offer so click on create offer click on 10% you can upload the image of your offer you can select whether you want to run it hourly wise or day wise the best part of the feature is you can run a limited time offer during your off peak time and grow sales so you can select a start time at time and also you can limit the number of quantities which your offer has i'm going to put any number right now well almost done and click on publish offer as you see you are able to publish your order in less than 30 seconds this way you will be able to grow sales and acquire more customers when your business is slow 
click on get started well once you have done that this is the main dashboard where you manage everything now you would like to see how does your store looks as you see i have just added one item so on top of the dashboard you will see your subdomain or your website click on this or you can simply copy it and open it great as you see i was able to add and publish my store in less than two minutes so we have just added our first item so in this video i'm going to show you the dashboard which is the main screen you will be on all the time on the top right you can see active and deactive you can turn on or off your online store anytime that means when you turn it off you will not receive any online orders so below that as you see that's a unique url which you have or a subdomain you can always promote this url to your customers through whatsapp instagram and other social media if you like to get your own domain without having a sub extension of foodchow.com you can click on get your own custom domain and we will be able to set up your own customized web page below that as you see you need to verify your email if your email is not verified you will not get any order notifications on the email if you if you swipe right over here you can set up your delivery zone then again if you swipe right you can subscribe to premium plans especially if you want to get paid into your payment gateway like razor pay stripe paypal or whichever payment gateway you are uh, using if we have not given integration to your payment gateway contact us and we will be happy to do it for you once you scroll down in this screen you will be able to see orders total sales number of products you have added below that you can launch your own offer or you can launch your own coupon to give discounts to your potential customers then the bottom left menu bar has different navigation for orders where you will see new orders which you receive orders in progress and the orders which you have delivered when you click on products this is where you can add more items so let me show you when you click on products this is where you can add new products so now i'm going to show you how you can add this product click on add item i'm going to add pizza sandwich enter the amount select veg non veg or does it have an egg you can add another category by selecting on select category and add new category i'm going to get add category as pizza i'm not going to upload image over here i'm just going to skip and click on add category now if i want to add more uh, items i have an option on add and view or quick add i'm going to skip this right now and just going to do quick add well the item has been added successfully now with this feature i can add another item so let me add one more pizza i'm not going to upload any image and this time i'm going to click on add and view so over here as you see we can see the whole menu and other items we have added and there was another item i added by mistake so i have just deleted that So now let me show you how you can add item with different variation or customization. Add the item again with the price. Upload the image. And in, and in this time, we are going to see how you can add different type of sauces and breads to your subway. So you have to click on add choices. Then click on add choice. Over here you have to add your item or the category name choice of bread then you can add different type of breads that is multigrain brown bread italian you can add as many as you want and click on save all your breads are saved now you can make this bread compulsory because they have to select one bread and you have an option 
if you want to give them multiple op, uh, selection that is one or two well you can't select two type of braids so now let me show you what extras are so click on add extra now the first thing you have to do is give a category name for an example of a business like subway we are going to give the category name as an add-on and then click on add as you see the add-on category has saved now in here you can add different type of toppings which you can charge extra on the top of the ordered item for example some customer might like extra cheese so add cheese slice now remember in this item which we are adding it has multiple sizes so you have to see select so you have to select contain sizes select 6 inch and enter the price select 12 inch and enter the price now if you don't select contain sizes then what will happen that the default item price which you have put will be allocated to both the item that means even for the 6 inch the price of the cheese slice will be 40 rupees and even for 12 inch the price of the item will be 40 rupees so we won't do that because that can be a heavy loss for the business so we'll do again click on content sizes allocate the pricing for each and click on save now same thing you can make the same toppings or add-on as compulsory minimum order or maximum order mostly in this scenario we can't force a comp uh, customer to purchase the extra item so we will deselect it we will save and exit the screen now the same extras can be used for upsells or combo packs that means you can make a combo deal and make this item compulsory I'm not going to go in detail in this video I will make another video to explain how you can make different combo pack. So we just added one item. Suppose you want to add another item and it got sizes. Like Subway have two sizes, 6 inch and foot long. So let me show you how you can do that. Click on add item, enter the item name, enter the price, select whether it is wedge or non wedge and if you want you can add a new category or allocate the item to an existing category you have an option to add an image to the item as well scroll down and what you need to do is click on add more info click on add variant so over here you can see the tutorials I'm going to skip it right now and click on add variant you can enter the name as 6 inch and add more and then enter 12 inch now you don't have any extra extra sizes so click on save as you see your sizes are added successfully now I'm going to show you how you can add price to the same sizes click on tick box on the top right now I'm going to show you how you can add prices to the same item tap on the click box the box will open up and you enter the price same way you tap on the 12 inch and then enter the price if you want to add more you can click on add variant but currently we don't want to add more so I'm just going to exit and click on tick box on top right so the variant has been added successfully and you can just click on save and continue So now we go into the next screens, my account. So in here you see we have to go on the first option called edit shop details because we have still not uploaded our shop image. So over here you can do any changes and editing to your shop if you have done any mistake. 
currently we are just going to upload the main image or the slider image make sure you have the right resolution for the image update the phone number or anything else you are missing out make sure the address is correct and try to get current location using GPS and have a right latitude and longitude on the map this way customers can use Google Maps or any other services and visit your store perfectly. So we have just watched product option. Now we go into the next option which is home screen. Home screen again is your dashboard. This is a screen where you use to see your sales. We are not going to go in detail right now but we are going to go into manage option. So let's click on manage. So let's go on to manage store menu. Over here, you can add item again and do bulk edit. So bulk edit is useful when you want to make changes to your items and category very quickly. You can edit everything which you have added in the product master, which is categories, items, variants, add-ons. Once you are done with it, just click on save. Then over here, let's the next option is manage offers, promo codes and bookings. Tap on it. You can launch real time offers by clicking on launch offer. The, um, select amount of flat discount you want to offer on the bill. Upload the image if you have. Select the start time of the offer and end time the offer. You can run this deal hourly or daily. Also, you can set up a limited quantity which you have available to have scarcity so that only few users can grab your offer once done click on publish offer once this is published you can go back and if somebody claims your offer it will show over here you can see your active offers by going clicking on active and you can see your inactive offers by clicking on inactive you can filter it by hourly as well as day wise. Now, imagine you want to create a coupon code to offer flat or percentage wise discount. Click on create promo code. Select the name of the coupon. Then enter a unique coupon code. This is the code which the customer has to enter if they want to secure the discount which you are offering. You can apply the coupon, you can give some description to the coupon so the customers knows what is it all about. Also, you can apply this coupon only once per client, any client, returning client or all of them. You can give discount as per percentage or a fixed discount as per amount. Click on next, straight away your promo code will be on and you can activate it and you can start sharing this promo code to secure more customers. Next one is to set up prices and manage timing. The next one is set up services and manage timings. So where you can set up timings for your store. So first of all, you can set up your business hours, your hours or operation. This can be 24 hours or Monday to Friday from 9 to 5 or whichever way you like. Once this is done, you can even set up a separate dining hours. That means if your operations are from 9 to 5, you still don't want to allow customers to walk into your store 30 minutes before the store closes. The same you can set up for pickup and delivery. The other unique things you can do over here is you can add tables to your store. Each table can generate a unique QR code which can be used for scanning and ordering. This way you don't need to employ many full time waiters to collect orders. You can print this QR code and put it on the table to receive orders. The next one is manage delivery zone. We have designed a very unique delivery zone module you can set up different areas and put a delivery price 
according to how far you can deliver from your stored location. You just have to tap and make sure all the dots are connected. Name the, name the zone according to the kilometer. You can set minimum order amount. That means if so, so anybody orders less than that amount, you are not going to deliver. Then you can give a free delivery if an, if an order is above certain amount. That can be 250 rupees. And if the order is below that amount, then you can charge a delivery fee. And how long is going to take you to deliver that order? Click on save. The best part is customers outside this zone will not be able to place any orders because we access their GPS point to see where they are located. The next one is the operational reports. So over here you can see all the reports of your order history, a list of your customers and the reservation list. Now we are going to see tax settings. If you want to charge certain tax according to the country, you can name the tax, you can put the number to be printed on your invoice and you can add multiple tags on items and the menu. So enter the tax name, enter the tax number. Whatever you enter over here will be shown on your invoice. Now let's apply taxes on the items. I'm going to put the uh, I've just named the tax and given a percentage which applies. Now, all my items are exclusive taxes. So, I have selected that. If your items are inclusive taxes, then you have to change it and apply. So, once you have set up tax ex exclusive, allocate these taxes to the items which they are applicable for. You can do that by selecting those items and click on apply tax on items this way you able you are able to apply tax in bulk so currently the chain legwear option is coming soon we are planning to launch this app in multiple languages so now if you want to get a beautiful page on food charm website you will need to upload images before we approve and publish your restaurant so you click on upload image so over here you will see multiple option to upload menu photos uh, ambience photos you simply can select all of these from your gallery and start uploading photos one by one so you can upload up to eight images so now we're going to see a very unique feature for widget settings as it says do you want customers to enter email address on your food ordering page if you want customer to enter email click on yes if you don't then click on no on the address to be compulsory you select yes if you don't want it then select no click on submit now if you have a website and if you want to integrate this ordering engine onto your own website you can simply select this widget code share it to your developer once they install onto your web page the order the online ordering system will be live straight away.